Good rising wealthy family and welcome to day 30 of our soul journaling prompts. Yes, we are halfway there. Yes, I am proud of you. Yes, I love you all. Yes, you deserve all the time that you have spent on these journaling prompts. And I am so excited to complete the second half with you. Now, today's soul journaling prompt is once again to see where where we are externalizing ourselves at right where are we sending our power to so today's question is who do i draw my power from now the reason why this question was framed is because you know we all know when you eat and do you know certain things you get power but a lot of people subliminally wait for others to give them permission or wait for others to give them the okay to do certain things giving them a sense of power when I was in organized religion, when I was solo Jehovah Witness actively, and I would pray to God and ask Jehovah and Jesus to give me strength, it never really clicked with me, right? So as I moved away from that, and me still not knowing that all the power I need is here with me already, I would go to my mom and I would ask her for certain things. But my mom can only give me what it is that she has. And... I love my mother, but it wasn't a lot. So it was keeping me stagnant. It was keeping me dormant. Because you know what she would do? She would always circle it back around to Jehovah no. If you love Jehovah, you would know. You wouldn't have these problems if you go back to Jehovah. All the, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I'm not doing that, right? So as I grew and I stopped subliminally asking her for permission and started going more into meditation for me and stopped looking to people on social media and you know, just my friends who are around me, I became so much more powerful. So who do you subliminally draw your power from? Where are you gathering your power from? Because wherever you got, gather your power from, you're sending power to. Okay, wealthy family, that's all that I have for you today. And until we connect again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love.